Shanghai Soccer Universe. Well, I think it's a good time to also summarize the uh, League Cup and Premier League action uh, in the midweek because that's already nicely wrapped up. I may, might be able to ship this out to you uh, a little bit sooner. And yeah, it also will give us an opportunity to look uh, in kind of predictions a little bit because I don't expect this to be a longish video as for now. I uh, also have to say most of what I'm going to tell you is more based on highlights than anything else because to be honest I was more napping this midweek than anything else and uh, I wanted to watch the Liverpool game but you know I didn't see much of the League Cup action. But let's start in the League Cup where we had uh, from what I hear and what I saw in the highlights was a pretty good and open game between Aston Villa and Leicester City. Um, I just hate those when Leicester City plays in black. I, I really feel that they could play in an all blue strip there as well, and it would work. Um, as you would expect, Leicester City had more of the possession, was a little bit more proactive, and so on. However, Aston Villa was the one scoring. Matt Traggett, a uh, target, not Traggett, target, all in a 12th minute, gets um, Leicester, uh, gets Aston Villa on the sheet, and yeah. Leicester then came back, really uh, created chances, and it also has to be said that um, probably should have been a penalty given for Leicester um, during that game. I don't know why VAR didn't interfere there when I saw it in the replay. If you have the hand up like that, should be a penalty, honestly. Uh, Leicester eventually gets the equalizer through Iannaccio. Uh, in the 72nd minute um, and had actually a good chance to make uh, to make it 2-1 but then uh, just as the game was kind of moving into penalty shootout no overtime there uh, Therese Gay in a last ditch effort gets the winner for Aston Villa who make it to the final where they will meet Manchester City, rather unsurprising. The result though, at the home game was very surprising. Remember, this is a game that Manchester City dominated United at Old, Old Trafford and only led 3 0 at halftime. And it was kind of a fluke that they um, did not um, score more and that it actually ended 3 1. Manchester City again stifled United for most of the game but cannot find the goal. And then it's Nemanja Matic, uh, who with the first shot on goal gets uh, uh, gets United in, into contention. Manchester City just cannot find the goal. Nemanja Matic gets sent, sent off. United even has a small chance. But honestly, City was by that much a, 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 a better team. And it's kind of worrying that you cannot dispose of your local rival by a much, much clearer scoreline. Than what Vald you were showing, and I think Real Madrid will be actually looking at this Manchester City side and saying, hmm, we might actually get something there in the Champions League. Anyway, the final is Aston Villa against Manchester City. Last time those two met at Villa Park, it was 6 for Manchester City, so um, not very exciting final. Uh, also, not very exciting, I think it's the Premier League any, any, anymore, but, uh, but not. There's still quite some exciting games, but the win is pretty clear. Liverpool. They win 2-0 at West Ham in a round 18. Um, not a replay, but you know, the game was postponed because of the Club World World Cup. Uh, the game, Liverpool had mostly control over the game, also early on, created chances. However, um, they were a few times caught on the counter by West Ham. And in the end, it needed a penalty. Uh, probably was it was a foul uh, that then uh, Salah headed home early in the second half, a nice break, uh, West Ham committed maybe too many forward, um, Salah I think um, initiates the attack um, and plays a nice ball through Oxley chamberlain who can run clear on goal, make it 2-0. Um, I think then uh, Alexander-Arnold then cleared the ball onto his own post which uh, was weird but I think Liverpool also hit twice the woodwork and yeah it was always clear who is the better team of the, of the two. The 2-0 two scorelines probably uh, also flatters West Ham a teeny bit. Although they did not play all that well. But now Liverpool has played all 19 opponents in the Premier League and has beaten 19 of them. All of them. Uh, only against Manchester United, which they already played twice. They have one draw. 70 points after 24 games is unbelievable. It has to be said, they're 19 points clear of Manchester City. 
Um, and then we have Leicester City behind Chelsea uh, with 40s are kind of the top four. And if we scroll a little bit further down, West Ham is clearly in the relegation battle. Um, where Aston Villa, Brighton could probably be in, uh, Bournemouth and Watford, uh, they are all in there. We have West Ham playing against uh, Brighton, to uh, kind of for their lives a little bit as well. So let's see where this is going. And as I said, let's look also at the chances at 5.38 have. Liverpool with more than 99% chance of becoming champions. That's not surprising. Manchester City with an equal probability of being second. Uh, it's interesting to me and actually kind of, kind of happy about it that Leicester City is seen as a 91% chance for qualifying for uh, the Champions League. Uh, Chelsea is kind of the one that everyone says is a little bit iffy. But you know, if I look at the points total, five points clear of uh, Chelsea and also uh, more than... Uh, 10 points, 14 points ahead of Spurs. It's pretty clear that Leicester should finish in the top four. Uh, and then they say Spurs over United and Wolves, which probably due to the rating and how the remaining schedule might work out all right. But uh, the difference between Spurs and United is very, 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 very uh, minimal. So, um, and if you look towards the bottom, who to the save will get relegated? Um, we have, yeah, Newcastle 9%, Brighton 18, Watford 27, and they are improving. Aston Villa might make it according to 530, 39%, and then West Ham, Bournemouth, and Norwich are the ones that are the autumn favorites for at least 538 of going down. Well, that was my little England roundup for the midweek. Let me know if you watch the games and whether you can agree with what I've been saying. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. That. I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.